some other options are convert to curve and convert outline to curve which are used to remove the original properties of an object, text or outline. Any object we buy has a barcode on its tag. If we are designing a product, we can give it a barcode using the insert barcode command in the edit menu. With the mesh tool, we can give different shades to an object. For example, if you observe an apple closely, we will see shades of red and yellow. When we click on the mesh tool, we see grid lines formed on the object. These grid lines can be increased and reduced by clicking on grid size in property bar. Click on the grid nodes and select the shades from the color palette to fill in the apple. An important point to remember is that once we have used the mesh tool to color an object, then we cannot fill one single color for the whole object thereafter. The color shades that we have given become permanent. So it is advised that if required, color the object with a base color prior to using the mesh tool. Group all the objects in the printable area by selecting all of them and using the group command in the arrange group. If you want to separate the grouped objects, then use the command ungroup. If there is more than one object in the printable area, then we can fix their positions with the help of the order command in the arrange menu. Using the in front of and back options, we can decide the order of the objects.